war started. Here. You can have mine, too. The cause. And you, Mrs. Hamilton. I know just how much that means to you. No, I don't think I will kiss you. Although you need kissing badly. That's what's wrong with you. You should be kissed and often, and by someone who knows how. Oh, and I suppose you think you are the proper person. I might be, if the right moment ever came. You low down, cowardly, nasty thing, you. They were right. Everybody was right. You, you aren't a gentleman. A minor point in such a moment. You're not worth $300. You'll never mean anything but misery to any man. Well, ma'am, uh, we uh, dropped in on a friend of mine. Yeah. And the captains. A uh, Mrs. Belle Watley. We played cards, uh, drank champagne, and, uh, well... Now you've done it. Do you have to show me up in front of my wife? <laughs> now, I hope you're satisfied, Dom. These ladies won't be on speaking terms with their husbands tomorrow. Ref. Yes? You see, well, I've decided. Well, I, I hope I don't have any more children. Do you know what I mean? I do. And do you know I can divorce you for this? Of course, the comic figure in all this is the long suffering Mr. Wilkes. Mr. Wilkes, who can't be mentally faithful to his wife and won't be unfaithful to her technically. You have her things packed and ready for me in an hour, or I warn you. I've always thought a good lashing with a buggy whip would benefit you immensely. It's because I'm going to have a baby. Well, cheer up. Maybe you'll have an accident. <laughs> she, she asked me to look after Ashley, too. It's convenient to have the first wife's permission, isn't it? I... I never really loved Ashley. You certainly gave a good imitation of it up to this morning. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for everything. My darling, you're such a child. You think that by saying I'm sorry, all the past can be corrected. I only know that I love you. That's your misfortune. Red, if you go, where shall I go? What shall I do? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn.